Hello everybody, it's SD Matt Haven here today, and we're going to be taking a look at two light tanks that I love to make silver with. So, starting off, we have the LT-432, and then up next we're going to have the Hawk slash Agel. Now, the reason why I'm choosing the LT-432 is because of the mobility that it has. Along with that, it also provides really good spotting distance with the concealment that it also has. So, the LT-432... You can get about a 10 rounds per minute out of this tank. Along with that, you know, you have a standard shell pin of 176 and a premium shell pin of 218. Now, one of the biggest benefits to the tank is, is that the premium rounds only cost 3,200 per one. And your standard shells cost 220. So, in, in return, you're going to be making a lot of silver out of this tank. Now, the high explosives, well, those are self-explanatory, 145 credits per high explosive with a penetration of 44. You know, if you can get those to go through, awesome. I just don't have too much fun with those. Now, Casserine, we're going to be heading up on the left side. Just taking it nice and slow, very beginning of the match. Inside this match, we have Blade and a, a, a viewer. We, we got King with us. King is in this match with us. He uh, hit me up earlier today and was like, hey, can I come play with the guys? And I said, why the heck not? Get in here. Now, keep in mind, if I do have spots open, even whenever I'm not streaming, and you guys want to jump in, have a conversation, do whatever, be my guest. Send me a message. Let me know beforehand. We'll get you in a party and we'll get rolling. And if there's something you're working on, we'll, we'll try our best to help you. So, the position that we're taking up inside the LT-432 up here on the left side, we're just trying to make sure that everything's scattered out before the rest of the team shows up. And as you can see, we have a lot of people coming down here. Lots of people. And oh snap, look at all the spots going on right here. Got a light tank up on the right side right there at D4 and me here at C2. So there is no hiding. Wow, look at that shot. 159. First shell of the game. Straight through the hatch of a M103 around 450 meters. Great hit. And I should have held my shell against the 705A. Just because there's no way I'm going to go through that armor with standard rounds. If I had premium loaded, maybe I might have had a chance to go through the top plate. But at the angle it is, I don't think we would have ever scratched it. I mean, we might have left a dent, but that's about it. Now, the LT-432. This is a very hardcore scout. Uh, number one reason why I chose this tank to say, hey, this is a really good one for making silver. The cost of the shells, the rate of fire that it has, the view range, the mobility, the concealment, this is an overall extremely hardcore scout that also has armor. The top plate of the LT-432 is over 70 millimeters thick, which means it can auto ricochet any gun in the game. The side armor on it, I'm not 100% sure what it is, but it's high enough to bounce 105. Against 120s, I was didn't really want to sit out against 120s to find out. <laughs> As you can see, panic, go forward, get away from the uh, 705 that's right there. He looks like he has a stock turret, probably he's slowly working on the grind to get that up. I hope he's enjoying the new system that they have installed. And also, the gun dispersion values that the LT-432 has are extremely good dispersion values. On the move, this thing can make snapshots happen left and right. Now. The position that I'm in, I need to try and get out of here because I'm not a heavy tank, I'm not a medium tank, I am a light tank. And all the heavies that are on the left side, all they had to do was pull up just a little bit and get a couple of shots in me and I would have been in trouble. So what we're going to do is, we're going to try and come a little bit further down to see if we can help out this T-54 Mod 1. Now, right here, thinking about taking a shot, nope, he's already dead, just, nope, just keep going, keep going, on, on a roll here. And ooh, look at this. Juicy side shots. No one's paying attention to us. And right there, we had a shell fly into the spaced armor of the stockade. And we all know how spaced armor works. It, it's either going to go through or you're just going to get denied. Now, ooh, look at that. Track. So far, we're up to 997 damage, 800 assisted overall as well. Honestly, this is already turning out to be a decent match. Uh, that shell went a little bit too high, bounced off the top of the turret. Uh, 50 TPs have got really good side armor on the turret. And with 176 base pin, we're going to struggle to go through that. So we're just going to try and pull on up and see what else we can do. Oop, there we go. Some lag. Panic. 
a little bit more panic. Now, ooh, look at this. Here we go. Getting ready to get some side shots. I completely forgot about the M103 on the side, so I'm trying my best to not take any hits. And, uh, we took a 105 to the rear. Uh, oh well. Hey, look, 705A. How'd that feel? <laughs> well, LT432. This tank is a great performer. If you guys don't got one, get out there, get your hands in one, go nuts inside this tank. Now, we still have quite some time left. Just what to talk about. We could go over the gameplay. Yeah, I think we're gonna go over the gameplay. I like that one. So, off in the distance. Now, there's a couple of things that they've done to the game that as I'm playing more and I'm, I'm getting used to the new UI system that I'm able to see. So on the right side of the screen, we see Indian Panzer. He just used a repair kit to fix his track. And his track is now damaged again. Or the system is being really weird. So, track's damaged, fixed or not. It keeps on popping up and going away, but we can see his fuel tank's damaged. He definitely used a repair kit right there. I know that one for a fact, because he doesn't want the fuel tank to stay damaged. But against the mobility that the LP-432 provides, he didn't stand a chance against that. Now, I'm looking at my ammo count right here and I'm thinking I need to save my premium rounds. I, I load a pretty decent amount of high explosives inside this with 10 rounds. So we want to try and get a couple of those out there. And, because we did, we put a 300 plus into the artillery, which is going to make it a little bit easier to get him out of the match. Now, whenever you're playing a light tank, it's always best to you know pay attention to what's in front of you. Utilize your auto lock mechanic that you have when you tap RB or I believe it's R1 on PlayStation. So, trying to get that up there. Just stay focused on where you're going. Don't flip. Don't don't pull a me every single Tuesday. Now, swap the mega over to premium. It's a four to five. You know, so so far we're on a little bit of a down low here. We have an artillery. They have three heavies, a medium and a light. Now. Right here, it's all about making every single shot count. Who do I want to take out first? The M103, he's a big threat. He's a tier 9, strong turret. He's got a hatch though, but still. If we can get him out of the game as fast as we can, we're going to try. And right there, M103 completely out, set on fire, and we put an 11 into him just to finish him off. Now, getting spotted, we're going to want to pull down. Our artillery is providing really good assistance. It is an equalizer. And he is just going ham with this. Now, I, I do make a little bit of a mistake. You know, I know that they still have a light tank up and running, and we haven't seen him for quite some time. And I started getting shot in the rear, and as soon as I realized that, I knew I was out of the game. So, hey, you know, inside of a light tank, we still did 3,075 damage. We assisted with 1,329, and we had some block, too. You don't see block damage too often inside of a light tank, now do you? So, whenever you do block shells in the light tank, it feels great. Now, we do pause the video just because this took quite some time for them to catch that light tank. It was about two minutes in total. And rather than running around and going nuts trying to find a light tank, I thought to myself, you know what, we're just going to pause and then resume. Light tank gets equalized, tracked in place, and then... Well, the General T-27 put the last shell that was needed into him. So, this match, we made 68,000 silver. Um, I had somebody mention that I'm using premium consumables, which is affecting the amount that I'm making. Yes, you're right. I'm spending 30,000 every single match. But I'm getting the top performance out of my tank every single game. Up next, we have the Agel, the Hawk 30. This light tank is an absolute menace to society. It is a tier 9 RU-251, dropped down to the tier 8 category. Along with that, it's got a tier 8 gun rather than the tier 9 version, but you have 187 standard pin with APCR, and then your premium rounds are 250 heat rounds. So, you know what, that, that's a light tank that's up there, you know, can't really complain with that. Especially since the standard shells only cost you 390 per shell. 
187 armor pin, you know, like you, you do a thousand damage, you're going to be making really good silver because the shells don't cost a lot. Along with that, your premium shells, and eh, they're, they're up there at 4,000 a pop compared to what we had in the LT432 at 3,200. But you know what? The Agel standard pin alone with the APCR rounds, those rounds, they're APCR. They move quick, they readjust on impact by two degrees. And then if you have to load the heat, load the heat. There's no issue with that. Now, the high explosives inside the Agel is probably the trademark for this tank. They have 102 millimeters of penetration, and along with that, they do 320 alpha. So basically, they're, they're almost like a Hesh inside tier eight. Now, your high explosives, they cost 350 silver a pop. Um, one of these days, I'm just gonna have to load nothing but high explosives and just see what I can do with nothing but HE. Now, as you guys can see, rather than running it with a premium consumable to increase my reload and everything else, I'm actually running with fuel. Now, the reason why I'm running with fuel is to help get that top, top speed that they did by 5%. So whenever you use the fuel nowadays, you get a 5% speed bonus to your top speed. Along with that, you get 10% on your turret rotation. And then whenever you activate it every single 30 seconds, you get 10% to your power to weight. Some tanks benefit heavily from that. Now, the Agel, in my opinion, is one of those tanks that benefits heavily from that, just because your top speed inside this tank is 70 kilometers. So being able to, you know, get the power to weight back up, move around, not have many issues, it's, seriously, I just recommend you guys run a fuel in some real light tanks. Don't get me wrong, there's some out there, there's just no point, but, you know what, the difference it makes in some of my light tanks, it's tremendous. Being able to get up a hill faster than anybody else, it's just wonderful. Now, right here, I'm thinking, do I want to push out in the open? No. So I flip back around, and instead I think, let's try and get up on the side here, knock some of these trees over to get some extra concealment to cover our 90 millimeter. Now, since a 90 millimeter is a smaller caliber weapon, it's requirements for <laughs> when, when firing behind bushes, a 120 has a higher chance of getting spotted than a 90 millimeter. So, what we're doing is, is we're just going to try and see if we can get into a spot to get a lot of side shots. And SDA2 Black, we hit for 215. So far, you know, within the first three minutes of the match, we're up to 1,128, along with 253 assisted. Almost three minutes into the match. Now, I'm thinking to myself, I wonder if I can make it across right here. This is kind of a little steep hill, but you know what? We, we made it. No problem there. Now... I never realized how strong this position could be until I pulled this off. So we're going to try and use every single shot we get. Every single 6 seconds, 6.1 seconds, we're going to be firing a shell. Every single chance that we get. So far up to 1580. Plus 140. The 187 armor pin that this tank has, along with that, the just overall great performance of the gun. You don't even need to bolster the accuracy of this. Just kick back and fire away. Have fun. Now, the Agel has been inside the matchmaker for quite some time. A lot of people say it's not that good of a tank for scouting or anything, but your 410 view range base, your 0.7 concealment that you had base before update 6.0, which still concealment now, this tank is 288, which is, you know, whatever you're standing still, that's, that's a lot of concealment. Along with that, light tanks have the same still concealment as they do moving concealment, which means even on the move, you still retain that 288. So whenever you're behind a bush, hey, you're, you're going to be one hard cookie to spot. And right here, we are looking at a UDES 3. So far, so good. This match... We're making a really good difference just kicking in there, here in the middle. So far, we've put out almost 2,000. Right there was a critical hit, and we damaged the target. So we just barely broke 3,000 with that shot. So in this position here, we did 2,000 damage with all the side shots that we got. That means we, we managed to get 10 shots to penetrate. And Udez still kicking it back there. Holy crap. Look at that. 201. Three seconds left in the reload. Gotta love the reload of these 90 millimeters, especially on the lower tiers. Now, I do remember, I looked at my map and I said to myself, okay, time for me to 
pull back around. We still have that tank destroyer up there, the Iron Rain. So we're just going to flip around, take our time to get all the way back. I probably should have just dropped down. That probably would have been a lot easier. But instead, I was like, I want to take the top section here. <laughs> just look at that tank. It's going. And thinking I can get some shots over here, taking the time to aim in, take a fire. Turns out, well, there's a rock there. There's a mountain. If I was looking at my map, I would have realized that. So STA-1 and Iron Rain. And there we go, 184 damage sent all the way down range. A little bit of a low roll for this tank, but you know what? There's still no problem. Now, we're still decently healthy with more than half of our hit points of 633. Knowing that the Iron Rain can two-shot us, and if the STA can get an early shot in, then we're going to be two hit either way. Probably take another match really fast. So thinking about it, we want to go all the way around to do a flank. We don't want to cut up the center like the medium tank is trying to do right now. Because we don't have the armor to do that. So the STA-2, or ST-1, STA-1, and then the Iron Rain, we know those are both extremely lightly armored tanks. At this moment, I was sitting here like, oh, I already used all my high explosives. They would have been nice to have back. But resetting the cap was number one on my agenda. And, oh, no, no pixel shot this match. We tried, though. Now, spotting out the Iron Rain right here, we do manage to get a 218 into him, trying to drop down to avoid the gun. Pulling back up, backing up, and then pulling forward again. That was the mistake. Pulled forward, we took a shot, we tried to get the damage out, but we made a little bit of a mistake. The STA-1 is still alive, 284 hit points left, and we tried to get the last shot into it, but we didn't make it in time. So, the Agel match turned out extremely good, with 3,830 damage dealt, a total of 1,620 experience, Definitely putting us on the top of that board, along with 726 assisted, a high caliber medal, a first class, and getting ready to get the second mark back. With the way the matchmaking's been going, we've been losing and gaining them left and right. It's It's been a complete pain. So, I would like to know what light tanks you guys like to play around in. You know, what, what tanks do you like to use to make silver? Um, other than that, if you like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If there's conversation potential, I will try my best to, you know, have a conversation with you guys. But other than that, until next time, take it easy, have a good night, and I'll see you on the battlefield.